Hey, hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another wonderful episode in the Kotlin Messenger application. Uh, today is episode seven, and inside of this lesson, we are going to try to improve our application just a little bit more here. And the feature we are going to actually work on is to correctly show the images for all of the chat messages inside of our chat log over here, right? So we have Jon Snow and then Arya Stark, and currently inside of our application, there really isn't any way for us to pull these images into our chat log activity. So what we are going to do is to fix this star on the left and this star on the right to show the correct images. All right, so with that being said, let's kind of get started by going back into Android Studio and start coding right now. All righty guys, and welcome back to Android Studio here. And let's see, the first thing that I would like to do for you guys is to just run our application inside of the emulator. And then why don't we click on to new message right over here. And for one of these lucky users, we're going to click inside of them. And basically whenever we click on user 04, this right star over here should be replaced with the actual profile image for this user, right? So in other words, the Taylor Swift image right over there on the left should actually be showing for this right side star, kind of similar to our finished application right over there. So the question here is how exactly do we do that, right? Well, why don't we actually go into the chat log activity file, which is this over here. And for whenever we are listening for these messages on the left and the right side, we are actually performing the logic of adding these rows inside of this method called on child added. And then down over here is the if check that places the from message on the left and then the chat to item on the right side over here. So the first thing I would like to actually do is to show you how we can replace this star with the user's profile image somehow. And uh, it turns out that this is actually pretty easy. And the first change I would like to introduce in my code is to modify the chat to item somehow. So the way I'm going to actually do this is to command click into chat to item is going to bring me to the class all the way at the bottom of this chat log activity file. And I am just going to simply introduce a, another parameter inside of the chat to item constructor. So let me just show you quickly what this looks like. And I'm going to introduce a user inside of this constructor over here. And you'll get a couple of error messages on the right side there, as well as over there. And uh, we'll fix that a little bit later on. Uh, the reason why I'm adding this user over here is whenever I'm actually binding the messages to the row over here, I can actually load the image for the user as well. So let me show you the little bit of code that will load our user image into the star. And uh, what exactly does that look like? Well, it is pretty simple. We are going to use Picasso, our image loading image caching library. And all I gotta do is hit and get and load some kind of URI. And the URI is going to actually belong to this incoming user for the chat to item. So we are going to say val URI equals, let's see, user dot profile image URL. That's gonna be our URI, so let's pop that in there. And then the last thing you have to do is actually load it into something, so into some kind of target. Now the actual target is going to be this right side star over here. And that actually belongs on this actual row inside of our view holder. And so if you've already forgotten what that is, you can go back to the chat two row, and this is the actual target right here, uh, image view chat two row, which is this right side star. So hopefully that's not too confusing. And the last thing we have to do is to go back into chat log activity, and you can say val target image view equals, let's see, view holder. And we'll get the actual item view. And then we'll just type in image view here. And I already know it's called image view chat two row, the same ID that we just saw. So we can use that and pop that in there. And that's pretty much all we need. And we can try to run our application, but we have a couple of errors on the right side shown by these right lines or these red lines rather. And uh, some of the errors are coming from this dummy function. and I don't really need it, so I'll just delete it like that. And then the last fix that we have to apply here is all the way up inside of the listen for messages on child added. And you see this little red line right here. 
And a chat to item is now expecting a user inside of the constructor. So the user, so user right here is actually the to user. And the question is how exactly do we get this? Well, you've already seen that before uh, up above inside of the on create. And this is pretty much the line over here. So I'm going to grab the to user from our intent parcelable. So let me just copy that over here and I will paste that in there. And this is actually the to user. And we'll just grab that. And right after the text, we'll just pop in the to user like so. Now, after you make those couple of changes, you can pretty much run your application again, and you'll see the changes pretty much immediately here. So let's click into new message. We'll click onto user 04. And on the right side, you can see Taylor Swift's image showing already. So that's pretty easy. If you click on Egret, you'll see her image right over there. And now if you want to round off this image, uh, it's pretty easy. So these images are round over here with a white border. So let's see, how exactly do we do that, right? Well, if you go inside of the chat two row, you have your star over here, right? And it's actually just a plain old image view. And if you use the circle image view from a couple of episodes ago, uh, it'll be rounded off for you. So let's try to run this again and you'll see the images being rounded off. And uh, one thing that you have to do is to apply a stroke on the actual image view and we'll see how to do that. So it's rounded off right there, right? So to apply a black or a white stroke, you can say border width like so. And let's just say 2DP and you can say border color and you can say Android and color and let's say black like that, or you can use white, it doesn't really matter. And we'll just run this one more time here. And uh, we'll pop into new message like so, and let's click into uh, user 04, and you'll see that black stroke all the way around the image like that. Uh, you can change it to white or whatever color you want to match the design that you're going for. Okay, so as you can kind of tell, that wasn't too hard, right? And the last thing that is left for us to do here is to actually replace the left star with the actual image that belongs to the currently logged in user. So in other words, we want to modify this left star over here. And uh, before I show you how to do that, I would like to introduce some code refactoring just so we don't have to repeat this to user code all the way over here because in order to actually get the parcelable user, it actually requires a little bit of time to process all of the things inside of this intent. And we don't exactly want to do that twice or for however many times the right message is showing. So in other words, I would like to refactor this line of code and this line of code into just one single call. And the way I'm going to do this is to introduce a variable on my chat log activity. So this is my instance property and this guy will be called to user see to user and let it be of user like that. And whenever you initialize a variable in Kotlin like this, you have to set it equal to null as an optional like so. All right. So with this variable, I can just set this user to that variable called to user up above and we'll have to modify that as well. And because it's an optional, you have to use a question mark like that. And then all the way down here, we no longer have to get the user outside of our parcelable. So let's just remove that. And that looks pretty good. Uh, one last thing you have to do over here is to actually force unwrap the to user like so. And I'll run the application one more time and you'll see that the user image on the right side is still going to show up perfectly. So new message and we'll just click on, let's see, Igret. And you'll see the Igret image showing up on the right side. All right, so hopefully you learn a little bit about how to code refactor. This is much better than what we had just before. And so with that being introduced and fixed, let's kind of talk about how to replace the left star with the currently logged in user's image. And so the way we can actually do that is to somehow fetch the currently logged in user either inside of the chat log activity, perhaps in the onCreate method, or we can do it in the screen before, so perhaps this screen, which is the latest messages activity over here. So you can do it either in here or in here, which is this screen, 
And I think it's a little bit better if you do it once inside of this page first, and it'll help us a little bit later on inside of our application. So I'm just going to do it inside of the latest messages activity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce some kind of global variable on this activity here. And the way you do that is just a companion object. And this is going to be var and we'll say current user. And we'll do the same thing. Uh, define this as a optional user and set it to equal to null as the initial value. And then on the create method of this screen, we're going to fetch the actual user. So fetch uh, current user. And this is a method that I'll define right over here. So private function. And let's just paste that method in there and maybe get rid of this space right over there. Okay, so what's the code that belongs inside of fetch current user? Well, it's pretty similar to getting our user that we kind of saw in previous episodes. So I'll just say val and we'll say reference equals Firebase database. And let's get the instance and we'll say get a reference like that. And the actual user is existing inside of the user's node like so. And then we'll just have to actually pop in the user ID like that. And obviously we don't have access to the UID just yet. So why don't we define it a line above? So UID equals Firebase auth. So auth like so auth and we'll get the global instance singleton. And for this, just get the UID like that and you should be good to go. So we have the UID leading to the user's reference. And one last thing I'll do with this reference is to actually monitor the single value event like that. And inside of this parentheses, we have to provide it the value event listener like this. And let's say brace brace. And inside of here, you can kind of see that you're missing these two methods of on canceled, so on canceled like that. Get rid of that. And we'll say on data change. And once you do those to implementation methods, uh, that error on the object will go away. Okay, so now the question is, uh, what exactly do we do inside of these methods? Well, I don't really care about on canceled, so I'll just introduce some code inside of the data change here. And so what you can do is you can say current user, so current user is equal to P0, which is this value over here, which is our data snapshot. And you can actually get the value of your user directly by using the user class like this. All right, so once you do that, you can log out the activity in the console area below. So let me just say tag, of, let's see, latest messages. That's what this activity is called. And on the right side, we will say, uh, let's see, current user. And over here, we'll say current user. And this thing over here, we can either say name, username, or we can actually do whatever we want. So I'll just use the username for now. And so once you run this, and once you kind of look at the log down below, you can see exactly what the user is. So latest messages, current user is John Snow. And then we also have other information such as the profile image URL. And so what is happening now is inside of the latest messages activity, which is our first initial screen, we are already fetching the current user by calling this method over here. And so what happens later on is that we can actually just access this kind of global variable called the current user on latest messages activity. And uh, the way I'm going to make use of that is to go back into our chat log activity over here. So this is our chat log. And so chat log activity on the left side, and then all the way down here for the on child added, I'm going to access the current user inside of this area of the if check, right? So let's say val current user equals latest messages activity. And on this activity, we have the current user available. All right, so the last thing to do is to just add it inside of our chat from item here. So let's say a comma and current user like so. Now, you can't really run this code yet because the chat from item doesn't have the constructor that takes in this user. So let me command click into that. And so we need this inside of the chat from item. So let me just copy that, uh, hit a comma, and just paste that code in there. And all we have to do is to load our image into the left star right now. So let's just copy this bit of code, paste that in here. 
So the URI is pretty much the user over here, profile image URL. We are going to load the actual image inside of this image view chat two row. Uh, we actually have to fix this because this belongs to the other image, so image view from row like so. All right, so I'm going to run this code and you'll see the star hopefully change. And I, I believe we have to fix one line of code. So you see the red uh, line right there. It's complaining about this user. And a couple of ways to fix this is to use the double bang like that to force unwrap your optional, or you can just use an Elvis operator like this and just hit return like that. All right, so that's a quick fix to our problem. And uh, we'll run our code now and you'll see that the star is actually going to reflect the image for our current user. And I'll prove that to you by going into, let's say, Ingrid, and you'll see the image show up just like so. All right, so pretty easy stuff. And if you want to make this image round, uh, we can go back into chat from row and you'll see the left star over here. We'll apply the same changes of circle image view. And let's give this a border width of 2DP. And now we can run our app and you'll see the Jon Snow image being perfectly rounded off. And uh, all this code is pretty easy to perform. Uh, once you get used to how to make circle image views and also how to get images inside of your image view uh, UI properties, then uh, you can perform this code really, really quickly. And so everything up to this point is looking pretty good. And before I end today's lesson, I would like to show you a very quick fix to a bug that we are currently seeing inside of our application. And you'll notice that we have two of these Colin Messenger launcher activities. And uh, we only really want one of them to show up inside of our app drawer, right? And uh, the fix to that is to go back into Android Manifest. And you only want to have one of these launcher activities inside of your definition of the application. And uh, the only launcher that I would like to have belongs to the latest message activity. So why don't we go ahead and remove this one for the registration. And so the way I'm going to do that is to just kill off this thing over here. And you can also make this a little bit easier to read by using a slash. And uh, once we have that change, we can run our code and you'll see that that icon over there kind of disappears. So let me click on that, go back to the app drawer, and we only have one of these launcher activities right now. Okay, everybody, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully you learned something new. In the very next lesson, we are going to look at how we can actually load different messages whenever we click on different users inside of our new message activity over here. So for example, if I click on Tyrion Lannister, we only have one message. And if I click on Arya Stark over here, we get a very long list of different messages. And that's gonna be it for today. Keep on coding guys, and I'll see you in the very next lesson. Bye-bye.